WCIA3's ag reporter Stu Ellis is making comparisons between Brazilian and U.S. crops in this morning's report from the farm. Take a look. The southern Brazilian states of Paraná and Rio Grande do Sul, which produce a quarter of the corn and soybeans, are suffering from a La Nina drought. Providing a crop update yesterday was Joanna Calusi, a Brazilian native and a U of I graduate student. Uh, there is a concern also regarding the soybeans. Uh, that despite being more resistant than corn, it also needs rain. Uh, the situation is not good for soybeans, for example, in the West, Paraná state, another important region for agriculture in Brazil. And the forecasts show more dryness in the second half of December and January. Therefore, yields could uh, fall further. So we will see in the next couple of the weeks uh, about the conditions of the weather. The only risk management alternative for Brazilian farmers is irrigation. So this season um, will be the second consecutive year that La Nina has to happen during the summer crop months in South America. Uh, Brazilian crops have a red suffered from a deep draw, I think you remember, in 2021, and continued draw in 2022 could force global demand to the U.S. for the second year in a row. Uh, so the best way to manage the risk is by investing in irrigation, you know. Uh, however, in, in the uh, Rio Grande do Sul, only 10% of corn production is irrigated. Equivalent, equivalent to around 200,000 acres. In soybeans, the percentage of irrigation is even smaller, only 2%, uh, equivalent to around 320,000 acres uh, planted in the Rio Grande do Sul. One of the challenges to increase these numbers uh, is limited credit programs for irrigation in Brazil, for example. Joanna Calusi will be joining us for more of a Brazilian update on our weekend program, Midwest Ag This Week, on Saturday and Sunday. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.